I've been considering doing a video on how everyone's favorite not evil search engine can discourage people from riding their bikes. I'm still considering a longer video showing a number of ways that Google makes driving easier, but can make riding a bike more difficult. That isn't completely Google's fault, as cities in North America prioritize driving, and safety riding a bike is much more difficult. However, in this short video, I want to show an example of Google prioritizing cars and completely forgetting about people on bikes. Let's use a hypothetical situation to demonstrate the issue. Let's pretend the two people who watched my video, where I took my mom and my cargo bike for donuts, are craving something sweet. They're in an unfamiliar part of the city when they realize my favorite donut shop is nearby. But when they arrive at the donut shop, it's closed. They pull out their cell phone, search for another nearby bakery, and get directions to a pie shop not too far away. The person who drove will see these suggested routes to the pie shop. There appears to be a more direct road, but they'll follow their GPS. Five minutes later, they'll be eating pie. The person who rode a bike will see these directions. They think they'll be eating pie in four minutes. But about halfway to the pie shop, the person on the bike will have a problem. My city is building a new LRT line along this road and the bridge needs to be rebuilt. The bridge was removed about two months ago. Google has updated its road network file, but only for cars. For some reason, the network file has not been updated for biking or walking. I know a lot about the data and algorithms used for routing problems, but unfortunately, Google is a private company and they don't provide a lot of information about how they update their directions algorithm. All I can say is it appears that cars are prioritized over active transportation, and this can discourage people from walking or biking. At least one other company is doing the same thing as Google. Apple's Map app has the proper update for driving, but not walking. Apple does know that no one rides a bike in the tiny, frozen, tundra outpost of a city where I live. If you're looking for an alternative way to get directions, I can recommend open route services. I'll talk more about it when I do a longer video on how algorithms can discourage biking. For now, it's enough to know that open route services is built using open street maps. Someone has already updated open street maps to show that the bridge is out. I hope this video provides you with some useful information. This might be a hyperlocal example, but I believe similar issues with Google and Apple Maps may occur during other construction projects. Please let me know in the comments if you ever noticed a similar issue. Unfortunately, I don't have a solution so that Google and Apple are as attentive to active transportation as they are to driving. Well, more open source apps using high quality crowdsourced data like OpenStreetMap is one possibility. Thank you for watching. If you want to know how good the donuts are, you can click on this video. Please consider subscribing so you'll know when my next video comes out.